Uh, Pep, it's another win, another three points. How do you assess the performance? Exceptional. We played really, really well. Uh, all 90 minutes, uh, we played really, really good. We read where the, where were the spaces. And unfortunately, we couldn't score more goals that we deserve for the chance that we had. And with 2-0, never is open, never is over here in England. So after 2-1, the last minutes, OK, we suffer. We've seen you take teams apart at the bottom end of the table. Was it was 2-1 closer than maybe you'd expected? Was it a nervous finish? Listen, the game, the game is 95 minutes. And if you analyse the game for the uh, last four or five minutes, yeah, it's OK. But it was not the truth. The truth is that we played really, really good and we could over. A part of the penalty for Nasi to actions, and but yeah, we did it. Yeah, you mentioned the penalty. Was Erling Haaland a generous teammate, or would you prefer he'd taken that himself? He had to take it, but that means how is how is Erling scoring incredible amount of goals? He could score more and more, and he think about his mate. That's why we love him so much. So, but it's a good lesson. So, with two zeros never over. He's the main taker or Riyadh, and when the game is three or four zero, and after can do it, but. I can understand he want to give to to Erling the pleasure to make a hat trick and that do it, but at the end everything happened. Yeah, I think that would have been Ilkay Gundogan's first ever hat trick for City had he scored. Yeah, we have another four more games plus one final and semi finals to score an opportunity hat trick. Yeah, I mean you were four games to go in the Premier League, four points clear. Bearing in mind how far Arsenal were ahead at one point, you've done exceptionally well. The table looks good now for Manchester City. Ah, ten games in a row. So 10 games are winning, 30 to 30. So, but still, you have to win games. So we have four games left, three for tomorrow from, from Arsenal. So, yeah, we see. I've asked you this one before. Will you watch Arsenal tomorrow or will your focus be elsewhere? I have a lot of job to do watching Madrid. I didn't have much time to watch it. So one eye, of course, I will take a look a little bit. But Madrid is from now on. Yeah, speaking of Madrid, you managed to rest one or two today, but when Nathan Aki came off, he looked a bit uncomfortable. Is he a doubt now for Tuesday? I didn't speak with the doctors, we'll see. But we're going to play with 11 players.